good afternoon. Uh, we are continuing uh, the last videos no? where we are speaking about the temperature which is in the, the chamber where the researcher producing here in this laboratory uh, thin films and semiconductor films specifically. Uh, the problem at the moment, there are two problems. Contaminations and control. Contaminations which happen when researchers take off the zinc films to the furnace. No? Why they put the zinc films into the furnace? No? For increase the temperature. Why? No? Because they study uh, the behavior of the chemical, optical and physical properties when the temperature is increasing. Not likely the same as annealing. Okay, but at the moment there isn't a uh, system for keep the control of the temperature um, into the chamber. No, this is my work at the moment. Design a system for keep the uh, control of the substrate holder, which is into the chamber. No, we're producing the zinc films by its battering process. No, okay. Uh, this could be happening by the uh, signals which is uh, made by algorithm no? mm, designed into the computer personnel by Labium, mm, for example, and send these signals to the acquisition card, analyze these signals, and go to the actuator circuit no? for give the control of the temperature into the channel. This is the work at the moment about the control. Okay, but before design design or on design this um, process, sorry, uh, I made many, many, and should have, should have made many uh, tests. No, many tests. Uh, okay, the, um, the test proposed, proposed here is, no, making a, a software, a little um, algorithm for keep the control, code design all, and retort design all to the acquisition card, no? and send design all to the actuator circuit, no? specifically into the plant, and measure the temperature by the thermocouple, and last the sign, the sign all, no? this sign all with the last sign all, compare the sign all, no? by the software, which is here, and send the control signal to increase the temperature or reduce the temperature. Increase or reduce, increase or reduce, and keep the control temperature. Okay, this is work made by a control, no? classical control. Keep the set point, analyze with the last, si uh, with the last signal specifically about the temperature. No? And for example, if the resource here is that uh, I want um, a set point just uh, 125, okay, you put as, uh, this value as set point, compare it with the last signal measured by the sensor from the actuator circuit. Okay? Compare this signal, no? reduce with this value, okay? and this is the error. No? Increase and reduce the error, this is made by the controller. No? and go to the signal of the control to the actuator circuit. No? This is the cycle, a loop, no? a closed loop, classical control. Okay, the theoretical graphic mm, sent, as you remember, no? compare the uh, signal, no? it could be by voltage or the temperature, no? respect the time, no? analyze the, these measured values, increase and reduce. Increase and reduce, no? and the error, depending on the controller which you design it, no, or you choose it if it's into the view, no, from the error, uh, try to get zero, okay? No, if the error is try to get zero, the value, the last value is going to the set point, which is the value with the um, resource, for example, want to uh, the controller keep that. Okay, and remember about the um, transfer functions of the PID. No, I'm going to using, I'm going to work with that PID. No, this algorithm, a constant KZ and the uh, interval times and derivative times. Okay, 
Remember this value, this expression, please, just when we are going to the computer. Okay, and the algorithm you can design so easy. Yeah? Okay, many, many ways to design these algorithms made by Love You. No? You can use the control tools if you want. And uh, I recommend, I suggest you using a low pass filter into the, um, into the code because when you are analyzing the last value, when the, um, the own value, no? the now value of the temperature, there is uh, an electron, electromagnetic noise. Okay, and for reduce these um, these uh, samples, no sporadic samples. For example, um, the temperature is here. For example, uh, 25 degrees. Suddenly, 30. Suddenly, 70. And it is not okay because the temperature couldn't change so quickly. No, and for this reason, it is necessary a low pass filter by software. No, I, re I suggest you please. And PID, I'm working with the PID because the PID can reduce the error so quickly, no? because have the parameter of the integral time and the derivative times is necessary here. Okay. And acquisition card because uh, it can receive and send the signals of the control. And remember here the input for the DAC, no? put the thermocouple. You can use a um, a circuit, for example, you ID 595, no, to keep the uh, scale 10 millivolts for degrees, no, or you can you was work only with the attack, no, it's depending on you. And the output, please, you can put the signal control, no, the control signal for uh, keep the control of your plant, okay. And finally, you can uh, analyze your process by graphics. Uh, well, now we are going to watch the test. This is in the computer. And uh, remember, for the next videos, please, um, algorithm. I'm going to show you an, an algorithm for the actuator circuit because at the moment I'm working just an experimental way at the moment. No? And more tests. This is necessary. Uh, come on here. Come in. <coughs> this is the actuator circuit. Now, you remember the last videos? Uh, you can watch no? the AD595, no? the thermocouple, and this is my plant, a little plant, it's a white furnace. No? The signal of the, no, the temperature is the center. It is representing, please remember, this is representing the chamber. No? The chamber. We uh, are going to work in just when I designed the best the best, the best algorithm. But this is in, uh, uh, many months at the moment, no? And this is the actuator circuit, no? You can watch our relay for a turn off, a turn on, turn off, a turn off. The, uh, this is the, the current, uh -huh, the current or the furnace. Okay, turn off, turn on, turn off, turn on, the process here. It's depending, it's depending on the control signals, no? We get to the circuit, no, to the actuator circuit from the acquisition car, no, which may uh, the um, connected to the personal computer, no. The signal of the control go here, return, go returns, and keep the control of this actuator circuit for control the plant. Okay. Now we are going to watch the the process by the software. Come in, please. Okay. This is uh, the graphic of the process. Okay. The red line <coughs> is the temperature measured, the last temperature. And the scale is, <coughs> remember the, the scale, 10 millivolts per degree. And this is here, 0 0.8. And the scale is 80. The, K, the scale is okay. Sorry, the scale is 80 degrees, and the scale here is in 70 degrees. And the set point which I work it is 75, no, 0.54 uh, the same. And the white line is the set point, no, the set point. And we are going to watch. This is the furnace. This is turned at the moment because the red line was um, 
bigger than the set point for the reasons the the, the furnace is turned on. Huh? Okay, this is in control at the moment. And go to the okay, go to the graphic. This is the signal input is 0 0.70 77 70 uh, 5 uh, this is a error at the moment this is processing the signal and watch here no, watch here please this is the um, the constant for the control no kc internal time and derivative time okay watch and this is the signal for um, turn off and turn on the Mm, a, 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 a circuit acquisition, no, then specifically the actuator circuit. No, uh, this is in five voltage at the moment because there is a turn on. No, this is red. The aha, uh -huh, the furnace a turn off. Okay, turn off, a turn off to keep the control and give the graphic fear. The error is likely the same zero because the last temperature or the last measured value is likely the same, the set point for this reason. No? Okay? Watch here, please. 0 0.75. This is the input signal. And this is 0 0.75. This is the set point. The error is likely the same zero. Okay? As you can watch in the graphics. This is the behavior of the PID. Okay, thank you so much for your times. I can watch you in, in the next videos with better, um, better, better tests. Bye-bye. Thank you.